And Preston, really, who is to blame them? After all, just look at this intersection. You can see it is still ripped up and very much torn after this dramatic crash. Neighbors tell us the collision was so violent that several of the victims were thrown from their cars and ended up right here in the middle of the roadway. To grasp the terror of this chain reaction crash, we'll have a look at this van. Absolutely unrecognizable in a tragedy that's proving unforgettable. Those four lives, we don't know who they were. You know, we don't know what kind of life they lived. This man speaks from shock and sadness. That's because he lives in a home directly in front of the crash scene. It does take a toll on you a little because you do have to come home to it. And then, you know, once you're at the light, you remember things. Authorities have not yet given the ages of the people who died. By the time the last victim was carried away here, it became clear that this was Retton's worst crash in at least six years, stunning even the most seasoned of rescuers. First message is to, to hide your loved ones. A total of four cars were involved in this crash. A check of WashDOT records shows this is the first serious crash to happen here so far this year. And really, what a crash it was. And they all have a life. Everybody's got to come home to someone. Everybody's waiting for someone, at least. Given the severity of what happened, it took more than eight hours for this scene to be cleared. And as this day comes to a close here in Renton, we're going to be asking two key questions in the days ahead. How old were the victims in this case, and how did this crash happen in the first place? Coming to you live from Renton tonight, Ryan Sims, Como News.